Hi, my name is Shubhang Raturi. Welcome to my life page. Today we're going to be talking about paragliding as a part of adventure sports. So before we get into the details of it, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I started flying way back in 1992. And uh, let me tell you, it's, it's completely uh, liberating. So I started flying in 92, took a little break, did some more courses, started flying again. Uh, for a short while, I was a paragliding instructor to the Indian Army at the Indian Military Academy in Dehradun. Uh, today, I still fly for my own pleasure. It's a, a part of aviation. However, with paragliding, there are no engines or machines associated with your flying. So it is the closest you're ever going to get to flying like a bird. And the first and foremost there is uh, micrometrology. You need to understand how the wind works at a macro level and in the local area. Since paragliding is a part of aviation, there are certain principles of flight that you need to educate yourself on. You know, without understanding the principles of uh, flight in aviation, uh, you want to go very far. And the first skill that you necessarily must have, and if you don't, you need to develop, is your psychomotor skills. So, uh, to give you an example of psychomotor skills, what you think and how quickly your body responds to it is your psychomotor skills. To be able to think and do things in correlation with each other quickly. It makes you one of a very rare breed of people. And when you're in the air, the feeling of liberation is unparalleled. Think about it. You're flying high above everything else. You can look all around and there's not a single sound. You feel so free, like a bird. In terms of feeling liberated, I think uh, paragliding is unparalleled. Finding the correct location. You know, for example, if you're going to be uh, doing paragliding as a profession, you want it to be in a place which has got a high movement of tourism. So if enough tourists are coming and going, it would be a good place. So therefore, as a business opportunity, the challenge that you face is that you can't simply set up a paragliding business anywhere. <clears throat> so typically, a day in uh, the paragliding business during season time would entail uh, getting people to uh, your paragliding location, checking wind conditions, having educated yourself on what the weatherman predicts. So weather predictions for the, uh, the forthcoming days and for different parts of the day today. You take your uh, clients to your launch site, do a wind assessment, brief your clients, have them sign a waiver and then you fly. And uh, well, depending on how long, how far you want to fly, the options of flying are from a few minutes to a few hours. I mean, I'm not even a great paragliding pilot and my longest so far has been two hours and 53 minutes. I have friends who've flown four hours, five hours at a stretch. So, uh, yeah, so you can go fly, fly the day away, come back, land, have a drink in the evening, relax. So, yeah, if you're the adrenaline junkie, Paragliding, though, is no bungee jumping. It's not a fast food kind of a thrill that you get out of it. But, uh, boy, if uh, that kind of a liberty appeals to you, paragliding is for you. Thank you.